It is important to note that in order to create a table of contents, you will need to have applied Word's built-in headings to the sections you want to appear in your table of contents. If you are unsure about how to apply built-in headings, refer to our tutorial about applying styles. Start by activating the Show Hide button so you can see exactly where your cursor is located. The table of contents will be inserted where your cursor is. From the References tab, select the down arrow next to the Table of Contents icon and choose Custom Table of Contents. I'm going to leave the default settings for the page number alignment and hyperlinks as they are. The Show Levels field is where you select the heading levels to display in the Table of Contents. There are four heading levels in this document and I want them all to be in the Table of Contents, so I'll change the level number to four. Clicking into the Modify option will show styles called TOC1 through to TOC9. These correspond to the levels and headings in the document. For example, TOC1 corresponds to Heading 1, TOC2 to Heading 2, etc. In this example, I need to modify the TOC styles so they match the font I've used in the rest of the document. I'll modify the font for each level I have chosen to show in the table of contents. First, I'll go into the Modify option for TOC1 and make my edits. I'm going to repeat the process for the remainder of the headings. When the modifications have been made, click OK to exit the menus. The table of contents will be inserted where your cursor was located. If you need to make any modifications to the table of contents, just go back into the Custom Table of Contents menu. If you make changes to the content of your document, these will not be reflected in the Table of Contents until you update the table. If your document contains a table of figures or a list of tables, as well as a Table of Contents, you can update all of these by selecting Control-A and the F9 key.